咻咻咻咻,咻,咻。What up, everybody? Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. Now you see my face. Oh, should I talk about it? Should I? Should I? Well, I saw I film a little bit earlier. Come here, buddy. Come here. The Suicide Squad is the long anticipated, pretty much the new renovated. Uh, it's not even a sequel. It's pretty much a. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't want to say, what is it? You know, this is a new version of the Suicide Squad. And this time it's directed by James Gunn. It's just weird how pretty much DC snatched James Gunn after the whole debacle with the old tweets that came out with him pretty much, you know, doing some horrific jokes. But to me, I understood, you know, I got that type of, uh, I got the sense of humor, like, like him in a way. I have a sick sense of humor. I know. But yeah, so I understood what he was doing. But this thing was like, no, 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 no. Pretty much, pretty much the mouse was like, get the fuck out. If you like the previous Suicide Squad film starring uh, Will Smith, Joe Killerman, uh, Margot Robbie, you know, the whole shebang bang, uh, directed by David Ayer. This is not it, okay? This is not it. That's all I gotta say. Uh, this is a spoiler-free review, so I'm gonna do the best I can because this film is not coming out uh, till August 6th, something like that. <laughs> I'm gonna be restricted as much as I can, but I'm gonna give you a, a, a pretty much a okay review while, you know, you can see already in my face that I what I think about this film, but okay. This film is starring Idris Elba, Joe Kinnaman, Margot Robbie, John Cena, Jesse Stallone, Nathan Fillion, Michael Rooker, and Viola Davis. And what is the plot about? Well, the plot is about this time, the supervillains, Harley Quinn, Bloodsport, Peacemaker, and a bunch of other villains are pretty much, you know, being joined in a super secret group called the Task Force X and they are pretty much being dropped in a remote enemy island of Corto Maltese. Also, they are being watched by Amanda Waller. Yeah, that is pretty much somewhat uh, uh, my, my best way to give you the plot. Holy shit, this film is really good. <laughs> This is pretty much DC's gem. And I gotta give DC applaud and kudos because they pretty much gave James Gunn his free range to do whatever he wanted to do. You can see that this is a James Gunn film set in the DC universe. I like that he took the property of the Suicide Squad and pretty much did his own version of that. While doing this review, I pretty much have to, <laughs> I have to compare it with the previous one. I have to, because the previous one, it was said to be good, but in the end, it was not good at all. Um, it's a nice looking film. I saw the vision of David Ayer, but I don't know what happened. Something happened in the way. But the film was not good. Uh, it was just so many like stuff that just did, didn't work well. And having a property like this, it should work. It should, but it didn't. Um, this, I think, is just, it's, it's written for James Gunn. I think James Gunn is doing great work with this. I like the acting. I think the acting is good from everybody. Everybody is having fun. And I think that Idris Elba's character is awesome. I love Bloodsport. I think he's great. I think he's better developed, uh, if I have to compare it with Will Smith's Deadshot, he's better developed than Will Smith's character. I like that every character 
have somewhat of an arc. Some bigger, some smaller, but everybody has some arcs. And you are going to see in this film some people that have a little bit more meat to them. And those are the characters that you pretty much are going to follow. And even though you like these characters, they are scummy villains. So I like that. Even though they are likables, they are doing some heinous stuff. And it's presented in a way that is comedy. But you get to see all of the scummy stuff that they are doing. And you see character decisions that is like, oh, holy crap. Okay, I understand why you are the way you are. It's, 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 we have some characters that pretty much are sh show stealers. Kids tell you like this. I like John Cena as Peacemaker. He was funny. Sylvester Stallone <laughs> as King Shark is so freaking cute. Uh, you even like Harley Quinn this time. Even though Harley Quinn got like four films behind her, I like this, uh, I like this interpretation of Harley Quinn. She's badass in this film and insane. And that is all of the stuff you wanted with a Harley Quinn. And I think she's presented better in this one in here. And Rick Flagg. Holy crap, Rick Flagg is so much lighting up in this one. He is funny. In the previous film, he was just a stiff, boring character. Holy crap, he was not a fun character to follow. But in here? Holy crap, the action is so good in this film. The action is so freaking good. R-rated. Okay? This film is screaming R-rated. You will see some crazy action scenes with a lot of gore and it is amazing and the music man the music the music the music the music is so good this film to me was screaming the dirty dozen meets hateful eight meets uh what's the other quint tarantino film um uh, inglorious bastard some people are in in, in more riskier stakes and I like that it's just, it's embracing the fun, it's embracing the cookiness, it's embracing the, the, the crazy aspect of these characters and the world that is set up. Uh, yeah, the acting is so good. The music is so good. The action is just freaking phenomenal. And also, I like that James Gunn was just, you see that he's, he's having fun. The dialogue, man, the, the dialogue is just mwah. Wow, 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 wow. The only bad stuff I have to say is that some characters could be a little bit more better developed and the villain overall, not the the, 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 the big villain that we see on the trailer, it's another villain to me that I just thought was just... This is probably going to be on my top 10 list. That's how much I really enjoy this film, man. I enjoy this film with a passion. And I... I can't wait for you guys to see it, man. If you see my face, then you understand that I enjoy it. Yes, random black guy. Enjoy the hell out of this film, man. So, my rating of the Suicide Squad. Man, I'm going to give the Suicide Squad 4.2 out of 5. This is pretty much one of DC's best films. I'm going to probably put this up on my top 3. Joker being at number 1. Man is still being at number two and this being at number three. And people going to be like, why Man is still number two? Just because it was so good the first time I saw it. And it has so, I, I had so little expectation when I watched, when I watched the Man of Steel at first. And when I saw it, it blew me away. So this film, this is pretty much a second chance. And I think the second chance, it hit it with a home run. This film to me is just, it's really, really good. Uh, this is a fun blockbuster summer film and also a really good comic adaptation. And I think that James Gunn was the perfect, perfect dude to take this task. You know, it's written by him, it's directed by him. It's pretty much James Gunn all the way. And you can clearly see that he's having fun with this property. And like I said, this film is the, the Dirty Dozen meets Inglorious Bastards, meets A Hateful Eight, meets all of those old Western films. Wow, this film is really good. And I hopefully, hopefully, when this film come out, you're going to enjoy this film. You're going to have a blast. I'm telling you that. That's all I got to say, man. Yeah, this film is bonkers, man, in a good way. In a good way, man.
anyways guys what do you think about the suicide squad do you enjoy it do you not enjoy it write your comments down below and let your boy know and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so every time i upload a new video you'll be the first to see it my name is alfie aka random black guy aka chocolate face no makeup and that was my review for the suicide squad until next time guys i'm giving you out there